Welcome to this series where I'm showing you a couple of common rookie mistakes in SolidWorks and how you can avoid them to become a more efficient SolidWorks user. So today I want to look at how you can create a shape like this using a tangent arc um, rather than using a circle as your kind of first sketch entity. So let me clear this out of the way and start over. So what I see a lot of people do um, as beginners is whenever they see an arc, they want to start with a circle. Then from there, you could take the line tool and kind of sketch out some of these additional lines. You want to connect it here where it's both tangent and coincident, right? Kind of looks like this. You could match up these points so they are horizontal from one another to make it more symmetrical. Okay, and then we're left with this segment of the circle that we don't need. And this is kind of a problem to SolidWorks because it sees two separate shapes right now. You'll notice that the circle is shaded and the rest of the shape is not um, because they're divided by this bottom half of the circle. So we would need to take the trim tool and go ahead and trim off the rest of that circle. So what we've done so far is we've opened the circle tool, the line tool, and the trim tool just to make this shape. Um, but I want to show you another way we could have done all of this from within the line tool. So if we turn that on and start over here with the angled line, there's a little shortcut to create a tangent arc where if you hover over your last line and move away, it'll turn into a tangent arc. You can also hit the A key on your keyboard to toggle between a line and an arc. Now I will drop that in right where I have that horizontal guide and then I can come down here and find the other horizontal guide across the bottom and then connect. So I just created this whole shape, no need to trim away the excess of the circle and I did the whole thing from within the line tool. Now some people might be saying, well I wanted to start on the origin so that I know the center of the arc is on the origin. Well there's Two easy ways you could uh, quickly put this on the origin. One, you could control select the center of the arc and that origin point and add a coincident relationship. Or possibly even easier is you could just drag and drop it there to add the relation that way. And then just apply a couple of smart dimensions to provide the correct scale for this shape and you're done. All right. Um, if your gut instinct is to kind of sketch a circle first and then trim away, I would definitely encourage you to look at the options in the arc tool. So there's other kinds of arcs that can be helpful too. Um, the little one, two, three shows you the order of how you would click to create it. So the center point arc, you start on the center point, your second click determines the radius, and the third click determines how much of the arc you will have. And then the other type of arc is a three point arc where your first click is one end point of the arc, second click is the second end point of the arc, and then your third click kind of determines how um, the, the curvature of that radius. And then the last arc under here is a tangent arc, and this one has to just be connected to another existing entity. So I'll sketch a line off here. And with the tangent arc, you can connect to a straight line. You could even connect to an existing arc. But what you get is an arc that is tangent to whatever you last drew, and it'll keep drawing those additional tangent arcs. So I hope that this introduction to the arc shortcut, as well as the other arc types, will uh, inspire you to venture into your other sketch entities beyond always relying on a circle and trimming down that circle, right? And I hope to see you in the next tip.